Hello and welcome to the Criticuculus. I'm the Monk and today we are in Wasteland 3 and we are doing an advanced build. Rather, I'm showing you the advanced build that I currently use in Wasteland 3 after the patch, after the nerfs. Um, this is basically to follow up on my early build that I just literally released. Um, so this is what it will look like, you know, towards the end. Obviously, we are running the Atom Smasher. Uh, which is an assault rifle and we are also running the uh, dwp which is a submachine gun now i would lean towards the dwp uh, it's extremely powerful however with the perks that we've got you know uh, for the assault rifle as well use them in combo that's what i tend to do uh, it means i don't have to reload and stuff like that um, they are extremely powerful so let's actually get into what we've got so we actually have 10 in coordination, we have 2 in luck, 8 in awareness, 10 in strength, 2 in speed, uh, 10 in intelligence, that's a 20% boost now in the critical chance, and we have only got the 1 in charisma. Now if we go back real quick, can see that for movement speed, I'm actually using the Chemtech legs. That gives us the 0 0.2 on combat speed. I find that it helps a lot. Okay, let's have a look at the next. So in skills, we have 10 in automatic weapons. Uh, the last perk there is very important. Um, we have got nine in explosives. Um, basically, it depends what weapons you're using. Explosives for me helps my DWP. Uh, we got the six in survival, six in uh, weird science. Again, depending on what weapons you're using, weird science to me is something that I could have cho chosen to level up as well. Three mechanics for the perk, one in animal whisperer for an animal, one in first aid because I think that's very important. Over to the perks. Of course, we are running healthy with the 35 extra health. It's just a go-to, really. We got the weathered for the 10% uh, critical resistance. You do kind of need it, especially after what they've done with the tweaks. Um, go for Hunter. Enemies have a 40% less benefit from cover when attacking them. Blinding to use. Honestly, it's a very good perk. Um, something that I use quite often, and enemies always love cover. Reckless. Gain 15% damage with a submachine gun when not in cover. Submachine guns are ridiculously OP, especially with that. Double tap. If you attack a target twice in a row with an assault rifle, the second one is a guaranteed critical hit. Again, crits in this game are still really good despite the nerfs. Stormer. If you move more than five spaces, your next submachine gun attack costs zero AP. Now, you actually have to move those five spaces in one go. You can't move two, then move three. Uh, and the last one here, obviously, is Trigger Happy. Killing an enemy with an automatic weapon gives you 3 AP. Now, that's if you kill uh, kill someone. And if we go back real quick, as you can see, I've got Serial Killer, which gives us 3 AP for killing somebody. Uh, so that's a combine of 6 AP. And, of course, we are also running Sex Machine as well, which gives us an extra 2 on the combat speed. But like I said, with what we've got there in perks, what we're actually doing is getting six extra AP just for killing someone. Um, that is massive. Um, and it's a great, great combo. Definitely something that I would look at using. Now, I've gone for nothing on explosives, but I have got first aid when an ally is downed in battle. People get downed all the time. You gain one combat speed for two turns. Means you're, you know, extra... You can run across the field, it's very nice. Uh, mechanics, I've got the perk for uh, structural weakness. It gives us a 20% boost against robots and vehicles. And then, of course, we've got the um, big game hunter as well for the 20% against the animals and mutants. And then after that, it really depends. I mean, personally, I've got one free. Um, I'm probably going to put that on microwave research. If you're running an energy weapon, if you've got high weird science, it's really good. Um, every sorry, any energy damage is increased by 0 0.5 bonus damage for every armor point that the target has. It's a really good combo. This is a build that I will swear by on 
any difficulty, including Supreme Jerk. In fact, this build got me through many a playthrough on Supreme Jerk. Um, the submachine gun class is extremely powerful, especially if you get the DWP. Um, and the Atom Smasher is a bloody good assault rifle as well. That goes with the energy damage, and of course you can up that. It's extremely good against robots, vehicles, and synths. And then of course you've got the uh, the P sorry PDW. I keep saying it wrong. Um, you know, for anything else, this this build will wreck everyone. Um, obviously, I'm not running the best armor you can get in the game. There are better armors you can get in the game. Um, I kind of like the Chemtech legs, so for the extra, you know, maneuverability across the battlefield, it means I don't have to waste my points in my attributes on speed as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this this build. You know, if you've tried this build, if you do try this build, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think of it, or maybe you have an SMG build that you prefer other than this you know let me know again um but anyway if you've enjoyed this video or you found me entertaining in any way shape or form don't forget to hit that like button and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we currently have 90 percent of all viewers not subscribed um so do us a favor and hit that subscribe button that way you don't miss out on more awesome videos just like this and also if you are looking for a build guide on any particular build that you're looking for let me know in the comments because you know i'll gladly um put together a build just for you based on what it is you need um and guys i've been a monk we've been a crystal and i will see you in the next video real soon i hope you have a good one catch you later